Political turmoil has erupted in Sri Lanka, leading to escalating violence in the small island nation. At least two people have died in clashes. Security officers started shooting into crowds protesting an ousted government official Sunday. Sri Lanka's president triggered this new wave of violence when he fired his prime minister. He then appointed the country's former president to the post. And this is a bit of a bizarre move because Sri Lanka's current president won the 2015 election on promises to investigate the former leader over claims of corruption and atrocities. The president also suspended parliament and the cabinet. So for more on this, we want to bring in CBSN contributor Alex Clement. He writes for Signal, a newsletter produced by G Zero Media. All right, Alex. So this poor nation of Sri Lanka went through, you know, years of civil war. And now it seems like there's some stability that's being whittled away. But this has a lot to do with the relationship between either China or India and what sort of relationship this country wants to have. Yeah, it's absolutely one, one of the bigger kind of backstories for what's going on in Sri Lanka right now is this kind of contest for influence between India and China for strategic dominance over the Indian Ocean region in general. Uh, the former president who has been brought back as prime minister, as you mentioned, he brought Sri Lanka very close to China during his time in power, opened up the country to lots of Chinese investment, uh, in particular in a massive port in southern Sri Lanka, uh, which Sri Lanka then defaulted on the loans that were used to build the port and had to give control of the port directly to China for 99 years. So there's a bigger story here in which China is trying to encroach on India's uh, historic sphere of influence within the Indian Ocean by investing in lots of infrastructure, ports, uh, other infrastructure in Sri Lanka, in the Maldives, which we've talked about before, Nepal, Myanmar, and of course the centerpiece of all of it is Pakistan, where the Chinese have invested almost $60 billion in infrastructure. Wow. So that's the bigger story here. Mm -hmm. yeah.